What's up everybody, Mr. Jackson here. We are back with some Wizard 101, I th believe. Oh, of course, as soon as I start, it gets laggy. Um, I believe we are on episode eight, nine. We are doing Firecat Alley though, so I'm not 100% sure where we are. But I did do some quests. So we need to talk to the hooker and talk to the lucky hook line, not hooker. And then talk to Adora Tangle Tree because she's done. And then um, we'll be doing Private Quinn. One thing though is if you have watched the whole series, there is um, no more black lines because I realized. Hey, hello again, young wizard. How was your fishing trip? Did you manage to catch them all? You did. But good on you. I didn't mean to click X. But as you can see at the top, it's like a full border, so there's no more black lines. Because I realized that I should go borderless full screen, not or borderless windowed. But anyways, let's talk to Hooky, Hooky Fake Ficker Liner. You catch on quick, kid. I hereby declare you a right proper angler now. Yay! I don't think I want to do this. You know, wizard, as fond as I am of fishing. My old fishing buddy, yeah, no. Arik Silverstein, do knows all the best fishing holes in Grizzleheim. You should drop him a line. No. Okay, so. I don't want to do the Professor Quest because I did that on my other account and you actually have to be a sort of high level. Higher than what I am right now. Um, let's go talk to the reagent because I made those two swords. That's what I did. And I caught all the fish, but I made those two swords. So, let's go over there. Okay. Ooh, grab some of this. Cat. Cat tail. Those are quite nice indeed. I am pleased to award you a novice crafter badge. Display it with pride. When you earn a new crafting badge, you can buy more advanced recipes, allowing you to create new and more powerful items. Don't want to do that one, because that's in Krakatopia and we aren't even there yet. So, that seems to be it. I just want to check. Okay, Smiths. We need Ravenwood Smith. Shopping District Smith and Firecat Alley and Colossus Boulevard and Gollum Court. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find those all and tell you guys where they are besides Colossus because we... Besides Colossus and Firecat Alley, I'll go find Shopping District, Ravenwood, and Gollum Court. Because <clears throat> I think I know where they are for the most part. Actually, we... Ravenwood, or not Ravenwood, the shopping district is just over here, I believe. Way back here. There's shopping district. Colossus Boulevard we can't get into. Firecat Alley, I don't remember. Ravenwood, I remember, and the Boulevard, it shouldn't be hard because it's a small area. I believe Ravenwood is like right beside the myth. Myth school. Is where I'm thinking that is. But I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, then uh poop. Um but I believe it's over here by the myth school. Yep, behind this tree right here. So there's that one. And then Gollum Court. That is one that we will need to be searching for. That is a really cool. That is a really cool mount. I wonder where he got that mount. I want that mount. Trade, trade me, trade me mounts. Okay, so Gollum Court. I'm pretty sure that's just behind the tower. Like in the back of the tower, I'm pretty sure that's where he is. And then, like I said, Firecat and Cluster Boulevard. I don't 100% remember. But there he is, behind this tree. Okay. So now that is it. So we'll go to Firecat Alley and start that quest. I'll see you guys there.
Okay, we're here, and can I just say that this place looks freaking amazing. Like, just, ugh. I can't get over this update, but let's talk to Pirate Quinn. Hey, you there. Could you give an old soldier a hand? I'm Private Quinn. I was planning to meet some fire elf friends here, but they didn't show up. They like to have their fun with me sometimes, but with all that's happening, uh, would you check on them for me? Head over to Fire Globe Theatre where they live and see if they're all right. I'll wait here in case they arrive before you do. Okay, so let's go to Fire Globe Theatre, Fat Cat Alley, and that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to see what he wants. By Jove, I have an order for a magical pocket harpsichord I need to fit. They are a challenge to make. But if you help me, I'll make it worth your while. So yeah, I will do that and then recover. Hey there, esteemed wizard. I collect unique and rare relics from all over the spire. I was supposed to find a bloodstone ring for a young lady in Celestia, but the uh, ghosts have it. Defeat the haunted minions until you find the ring, then bring it to me for a reward. Okay, we're not actually doing that yet. Because we need... To go to the Fire Globe Theater. Hopefully, I don't get an attack. That was actually pretty lucky. <clears throat> I actually think, now that I think of it, that the guy is around here. There's a wooden chest in of Mandrake, but I'm, I thought there he is. So there's the Fire Cat Alley Smith. Okay, so sorry about that. I don't know why my computer just randomly shut down. Hopefully none of the footage is lost, but we have to go back to talk to Private Quinn. There's the Smith of Firecat Alley. So now all we have to do is um, talk to or find the Colossus Boulevard Smith. And then all the Smiths will be done and then we'll get an extra training point. Before we go talk to Private Quinn, we are going to Gretel's house or Greta house or... Whoever's house, because we're gonna go talk to A her. Pocket harpsichord, you say? I can build one, though I will need many items from the town. I need keys for the harpsichord. The fingers of the skeletal warriors would do nicely. Okay. Hey, well, yeah, no, we're not doing that. We're just doing the main quest. I just wanted to make sure that we had a thing to get. Because now if we defeat Haunted Minions for the main quest, we'll also defeat it for the side quest or uh, Skeletal Warriors and stuff, right? So now we need to go talk to Private Quinn. What's up, bud? You're back. Let me guess. They were playing a prank on me. Private Quinn falls ashen when you tell him about the Fire Elves. Oh, no. That's no prank. You don't know them like I do. Something horrible must have happened to the Fire Elf. Once, a Fire Elf saved my life with an arrow. His name was Phoebo. He said we'd be friends forever because their magic connects everything they touch. That's it. Bring me their arrows and we could find out what happened to them. You'll have to duel a few of them first. Okay. So now I have to defeat a few Fire Elves. I'm going to do the first one. And then the second, second couple we can, we can do it. Cause I think in this area, there's actually okay. I don't want that. Hmm. Let's just sh snake him. Oh, cause I thought in this area we got two, but maybe that's Colossus Boulevard. Then the Sunda Snack. Got pa Ooh, that's that's an easy win. Unless I fizzle, but I don't. I, uh, I could see it, but like we didn't, so it's all good. It's all good. Okay, so that's one done. I'm gonna go do the other three, and we will be back.
Okay, got the four arrows. It took a little bit longer because it's not like kill them. It's more like collect the arrows, Great. right? So. Thanks for doing this for the fire elves. No problem. If the fire elves are cursed or enchanted, and I bet my life they are, this arrow should reveal who did it. Greta Darkkettle used to teach alchemy at the school. She might help if you bring her the arrow. Whoa! Same person who I need to bring the the skeletal key thingies to. So let's go talk to her. She's not that far away. She's just over here. Let's see what she says. Mrs. Know-it-all. Mrs. Know-it-all. So, you found me. What do you want? You can tell that Ambrose I'm not coming back. You explain the curse upon the Fire Elves. Greta takes the arrow you brought, then chuckles. He's a good soul, that Quinn, but what he knows about magic you probably learned your first day. I need more than this. To find out who cursed the Fire Elves, I'll need a charred knife from one of those magma men roaming the street. I'll be waiting. Okay, so I'll go get that charred knife. Cause, you know, we need to just do kill a whole bunch of mobs. Also, um, outside, like in real life right now, they're doing some yard work. So if you hear a loud noise or whatever, then that's what that is. But if they're, if it's going to keep going on, I'll just do the normal, like, so kill the other side missions, like the other minions and the and the stuff and we'll get that all done and see if that takes a little bit of time but anyways I will go kill this magma man and get get that charred knife I can't see me ki getting the charred knife on my first go around you know but if I do then yeah see I did not collect it so I will go kill the uh, magma man and I will be back Okay, so that actually didn't take that long at all. I remember this, these fetch quests sometimes taking like 20 guys before you got it. You got the charred knife? Excellent. This will show the school I know what I'm doing. Greta sprinkles magic dust on the charred knife and arrow. Aha! The fire elves have been cursed by a banshee's whale. All you need is a lock of her head. Talk to Private Quinn. He could prove useful. He may know of a banshee lurking nearby. Okay, so I'm guessing the Banshee will be a boss, because, yeah, one thing about this area, I don't know, this area, like, I really like Triton Avenue, because it's, like, free and stuff, and Cyclops Boulevard, I really like, too, because, I, I don't know, this is probably my least favorite of the, th actually, no, Colossus Boulevard is probably my least favorite of the four Man, areas. she's wild. That sounds like a wicked curse. Good thing you convinced Greta to help. I've received reports that a banshee is up to no good. I know who it is, too. Bastila Gravewind haunts the last tower at the very end of Fire. Defeat her in battle and snip a lock of hair from her wicked head. Greta needs that hair to save the elves. Okay, like I was saying as before I cut myself off, Firecat Alley out of the three areas is probably my one of my least favorite. But it's it's still, like, amazing. Like, this game is oh, since the update oh, my goodness the graphic update just makes everything look so good like these vents and like the the molten lava between the stones and even these trees in each area is different it's just the, the, oh, I don't I'm just lost for words even though this place is like one of my least favorite areas it's still like a really good area Okay, we need to get a move on and hopefully not get so much leg. And even like the steam coming up from the fire cat statue, like it just, it, all I can say is, oh, 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 because what they did is just amazing from what it like used to be, right? Okay, 10 seconds and we're going to kill this lady. No. Also, it definitely helps having a um, wand that gives you two pips and a potential for a so, power pip. You are the one who has been undoing my work. 
The Fire Elves wore to remain cursed until the Wizard City was in ruins. Your meddling in Malister's plans will cost you dearly, Wizard. I shall send you back to Ravenwood as an example of what happens to those who oppose us. Okay. We need a killer. But I'm going to take off some of this stuff. I don't need to do the storm prism. I'm going to put an extra lightning bat in there. Both storm sharks are in there. I don't want lightning strikes in there. We'll continue with the thermic shield. Um, see, I don't think we'll need three fairies, but uh, we'll bring it just in case we need a fairy. So, oh my goodness. That could kill her right there, right there, right there. If I don't fizzle. Unless he shields Storm. But she did not. She's not dead yet? Whoa, okay. So Thermic Shield would be nice, but if we just do this on her, then she's dead, right? Like, there's nothing she can do besides attack me once more with a Dark Sprite. That gives me plus 30. Ooh, like 100 damage. What is that? Like 100. Oh, not even. Didn't even break 100. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's a cutie. Ooh. It definitely helps having a wand and stuff that, like, you know can help me out from a higher level but I'm still I'm still I'm still you know it's like yeah I, I'm doing this right come on fire elf what do you got that's a bigger attack that's a that's a moment bigger attack right there okay but he's dead so we're good we're good. Ooh. Choker of Swarms. We get a scorpion. What do we have right now? Well, let's just equip it. Because then we get a card, right? And that's always nicer. Okay, we need to go all the way back to Greta. But I'm going to actually just use this potion and kill some of these skeletal warriors and stuff and do like the side quests around here. So I will be back once all that is good and done. Okay, got all the stuff, so now we should get two more quests right here. Good for you, dear. Now with the finger bones, I can make the keys for the harpsichord. Ah, you have a lock of the banshee's hair. After this, Ambrose should believe what I've been telling him about the death school. Greta burns the lock of hair over a white candle and then hands the melted wax to you. Done! Tell Private Quinn that the wax from this candle can break the curse on his precious fire elves. Oh, the harpsichord still needs some material to create the soundboard. The best material I know is obsidian. You can easily collect this from the magma men on the street. Okay, so we are not doing the magma men yet. I will do the magma men, like, after we have a little bit more time. But we need to talk to Sheila Scruffheart. You found the ring? Splendid. Here's a fine reward. For I bet that young lady will love it. Hello again, young wizard. One of those skeletal warriors once called Mushu his own. Somehow, he got hold of a samurai sword. But it belongs in its owner's hand. Defeat him and retrieve his sword. The spirit of Mukagawa. Oh, I wish I knew that. Handsomely. Okay, well, let's just talk to Private Queen, get his quest. You have a cure? Great news. 
I've taken the wax from the candle and mixed it into the potion. I hope I did it right. You'd better do the rest. Defeat the Fire Elves and their leader, Prince Alakane Swift Arrow. The potion should then break the curse. Good luck, wizard. Okay, so we need to kill a lot of stuff. Like, a lot of stuff. We need to kill six Fire Elves. We need to kill, like, six Magma Men. We need to kill enough warriors to get the spirit of Moku Guguawa. So, I will be back after actually all that's done. So, yeah. <laughs> See you guys in a bit. <laughs> Okay, we are back, and everything is done. We have to defeat Swift Arrow. We have to talk to the other people. I'm not going to do talking. Because talking is boring. We are just going to go in and defeat this little elf. Been, oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always repping. Oh my God, my whole life, my words been my greatest weapon. I